All right, we are looking at AX3, and we're going to look at AX3 and AX2E in this one. AX3 is a parent shape because it has no lone pairs on it. So we have a central atom, in this case boron, bonded, bonded to three atoms, three atoms of fluorine, and ends up being trigonal planar. So now we'll look at a deluxe model of it. So here is our boron. Here is our fluorine, 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 three fluorines, 120 degrees, 120 degrees, 120 degrees between each of the bonds. That's minimized the repulsions between these electrons around the central atom. And it's going to go on the table now, and we'll see why it's called trigonal planar. It's enclosed by a triangle, and it's very flat. Next one we're going to look at is AX2E. It is a bent structure, SO2. Later on, we'll talk about it being a resonant structure. When we did BeCl2, it was linear. But this one's bent for a reason, so we're going to look at it right now. So here's the sulfur two oxygens. We have a single bond here. We have a double bond there. That doesn't matter to the shape. What's happened is we have a lone pair that's sitting right here. And that lone pair has pushed these bonds down. And that's what's created the bent shape. So we'll finish off right there. And then we have to look at a, this. This one is sort of a violator of everything.